For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create what I call directional lollipops. Let me show you how I started using these. If I go over to my Dear Data 2 project and I look at week 8 where I was looking at Instagram pictures, what I had done in this particular case was I looked by day and hour of the day for the pictures that I liked, whether or not the person was a runner. And uh, the idea here is just for it to, to be a way to evaluate a Boolean. So I was trying to think of a way that maybe we could do this um, in, a, in a more practical example. So I was thinking about Steph Curry and his historic 2015-2016 season. So I went over to the NBA Savant website and downloaded the data for every single play that he had in the season. When I look at that data in Excel, you can see it's got very, very detailed information. It has things like game date, the period that it happened in, how many minutes and seconds were on the clock, whether or not he made the shot, what type of shot it was, or the, the action that he took, the shot type, whether it's a two-pointer or a three-pointer, how far the shot was, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a really fantastic place to get very detailed basketball information. So let's go over to Tableau, go to a new sheet, and go ahead and connect to that data set. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the sheet. And you'll notice because um, period, minutes remaining, and seconds remaining are all numbers, um, it Tableau automatically put them as measures. But really, I want those to be discrete dimensions. So I'm going to just drag those up to the dimensions area. And I can also do that with season, although I'm not going to use that in this example. OK, and then we also have the shot made flag. That's just a 1 or a 0. It's not something we really want to count. So what I can do now is um, let's just go ahead and start by just dragging the game date into the view. I'm going to right click and drag that to the rows. And I want to look at the date of every single game. But what I really don't want is the, the, the date of the game. I just want to know which game number was it that he played. So I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field. And I'm going to call it my game number. Now, he may not have played in every game in the season. But basically, I just want to know which game number this was for Steph. So I'm going to go ahead and create a rank on the minimum of the game date. And I want to do this in ascending order so that the earliest game gets ranked first. Hit OK. And then I'm going to convert that to discrete and drag that to the rows and change my compute using to be by game date. All right. So now I can just go ahead and untick the show header. So from here, what I want to do is I want to look at the, um, the time that every single shot happened. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag the period to the columns. And you'll see there's four or five periods. OK, looks like I've got a slight problem with my table calculation here. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and show the header here. And it looks like what I need to do is I need this to compute using table down. Let's check. Oops. OK, let's just get rid of that for now. I don't want to mess around with that because I just want to show you the example. OK, so uh, what I need to do now is I need to create a, uh, a calculation that has the time that was on the clock when the shot was taken. So I'm going to create a calculated field and I'll call it time. Uh, I'll call it. Yeah, just let's just call it time. And the calculation here, Tableau has a nice little make time calculation. So my hour, my hour is always going to be zero. And then I'm going to put minutes remaining and seconds remaining. Hit OK. And then I need to format that correctly. So I'm going to go up to uh, Default Properties, Date Format, Custom. And I'm going to do NN colon SS. That's going to give me just the hours and the seconds. So I'm going to right click and drag that onto the columns. And I want to look at every record, so I'll just choose uh, continuous, or I could I could do you know seconds down here. It doesn't matter. It's going to give me the same result. Okay, and now when you hover over, you can see in this particular case there was one second left on the clock in the first period, and over here it's uh, 11 minutes left. So actually my time is backwards. So I'm just going to edit my axis, and simply reverse the time. Hit OK. All right, so now I've got this shot made flag, so I'll just drag that to color and see what it says. And you'll see I've got ones and zeros, and it just basically colors my bars. Now, what I really want it to do is I want it to diverge like the example I have on my dear data. 
So I'm just going to create a calculated field for that. So I'm going to create a calculated field and I'll call it um, shot outcome. Oops, spell that wrong. And basically I'm going to say if the shot made flag is equal to zero, meaning you missed, then I want to do a negative one, otherwise a one. Hit OK. And now I have this shot outcome. I'm going to drag that to the rows. And um, I want to go ahead and make this, uh, or I don't want this to be lines now. I want these to be bars. And then let me go ahead and make those nice and thin. OK, so maybe something like that. So now we can see which shots he made and which ones he didn't. And uh, I think if I squeeze this into the entire view, it's, yeah, it's going to be, become unreadable. So let's just leave it like that for now. Uh, maybe we just want to look at uh, maybe the first couple months of the season. So I'll go ahead and drag game date to the filters. And we want to look at the month and year. And let's just maybe look at October, November, and uh, maybe just October and November for now. And now if we choose entire view, does that look any better? Um, not really. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's maybe look at um, maybe the first 10 games. So let me go ahead and edit my filter and uh, cancel, take that back out. Sorry about that. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag game, right click and drag game date to the filters again. Do individual dates. Choose none and let's do one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we could do something like that. Hit OK. And now I bet if we do entire view, it'll look a little bit better. Okay, that's better. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to put little dots on the end. Um, and actually, let me change the color coding for my shots, whether they were made or not. So let's say a shot that was made. Um, let's go ahead and maybe make that. Uh, why don't we use the Warriors colors? Let's do that. So we'll make that one blue. And let's make Miss Shots yellow. All right, so from here, I'm going to just duplicate my shot outcome by just holding the it's a Command key on a Mac or a Control key on a PC. Make that a dual axis chart. And what I want to do on this secondary axis then is I want to go ahead and change these to circles. And then go ahead and synchronize. And I'm going to need to make the circles a little bit bigger. So let me drag that over, maybe put it to here. And now I've got my nice little directional lollipops. So that's a really neat way to look at, look at the games. Now, um, what I could do is uh, maybe instead of looking at the dates of the games, I could take this off. Uh, let me change this back to normal. So that's one way that you can see every single shot. From here, I would go ahead and untick my show header, uh, remove those from the tooltip. And maybe my shot made flag, I'll just edit these aliases. I'll call the zero a missed, missed, and I'll call a one edit alias and make that made. All right, and then I'll probably go ahead and format this. Go ahead and turn off my grid lines, turn off my zero lines. Uh, actually, no, I'll just make my zero line solid and maybe make it a light gray, something like that. Uh, maybe even a little bit lighter than that. Uh, and then, you know, you can sort of customize this any way you want. So we've got the four quarters plus overtime. So you can see the fives are overtimes. I don't, I've only got a couple of those for just, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave those in. No big deal. Um, so there you go. So another thing that I could do is maybe instead of looking at game date, so let me, and actually I would probably go ahead and untick the header on the time as well. So now when I hover over, I can see the date of the game. Uh, the time of the uh, the period, the time. So maybe let's go ahead and customize our tooltip. Actually, let's customize our right-click and choose format. I'm going to change the font for the entire workbook to my favorite font, which is Avenir, and do the same thing on the tooltips. So now when I hover over, it looks a little bit better. I can go to my tooltip, and I want to change. I want to make the game date first, and then the period and then the second, and then I'll instead of shot made flag, I'll call it shot outcome. All right, so now you can see these are all made, these are all missed, and then if I wanted to, I could add this as a, uh, will it go ahead and let me right click and choose um, exclude, and uh, that didn't quite work the way I was hoping, so let's just leave it like that for now. 
And uh, what I could do is I could duplicate the sheet and maybe I want to look at it instead of by date, maybe I want to look at it by uh, weekday. So I'm going to go down here to more, choose weekday. Now what this is doing now is it's showing me every shot for every game. And uh, you can see I've got some stacking here because we have, oh, it looks like he made three, uh, he actually made a couple of shots at the same time. But anyway, you can see you could play with this lots and lots of different ways. Um, another option would be instead of using these dots, I could do something like, uh, so instead of using this shot outcome field, if I just do it like that, you'll see I've got all of these individual dots that are sort of stacking on top of each other. So what I would do in this case is I would probably just create a calculated field called random. Um, hit OK. That's a hidden calculation in Tableau. Drag that to the rows. And now you'll see those get kind of scattered throughout the, uh, throughout the visualization. Now if I change this to weekday, it might look a little bit better. So you can see that it doesn't really look like there's any sort of pattern to when Steph Curry makes or does not make shots. But in this case, I would go ahead and untick the show header. And then also, uh, OK, so that is not in the tooltip. So we're good to go there. Um, so this one I would call probably, uh, probably, probably, like, probably like a weird scatter plot. Uh, I'll just call it maybe a jitter plot. And this one I would call something like directional lollipops. So you can see that I can use these directional lollipops as an alternative to a jitter plot. So for me, these are much, much clearer. Um, I can see for just about every game. So let me go ahead and shrink these down, make them nice. And uh, yeah, maybe that's a good size for them. You can see, easily see by highlighting, you know, how many shots he made or by doing the highlighting the mist, you can see all of those. So lots of really useful um, uh, ways that you can use this type of view. I like it for a really Boolean type of calculation. So in this case, it's either missed or made. So that's like a yes or a no sort of flag. Um, and you go through and you can see um, for Steph Curry, you see a, about a 50% shot ratio, which if we look over on his statistics, you'll see for the season, he made, uh, let's see, if we look at his field goal percentage, he made just over 50% of his shots. And three-pointers, he made 886 of them, or he attempted 886. So we could also put the shot type on here. Maybe look at just three-point field goals. And you'll see we get a much cleaner view now. So again, lots and lots of options. Um, you don't need to have the period in here. We could take that out and just look at, so this is now showing us every shot for um, any period in the game. So just uh, does he make more shots earlier in the quarters or later in the quarters? We can't really tell from this. But you see, you can build tons and tons of visualizations with this type of view. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Have a great day.